Today's low impact cardio class has absolutely no props. So let's get started with our feet nice and wide. You know, I like to frequently feel this way and let's just feel our breath. I like to close my eyes. I like to notice the quality of my lungs expanding. Is there ease in being able to expand my lungs? How does my exhale feel? If I bring that exhale out my mouth, how does that change it? And I'm just noticing with my hands releasing now the space at my neck and my shoulders, and so I'm moving things around a little bit, my fingers, move my feet a little bit so I can feel my toes. How do my ankles feel? And let's move side to side a little bit, and let's think about powering it from our bum. Pushing, so pushing from this bum to go this way and the other way. A really nice little warm up here, so just Think about powering it heel to bum. And then think about, can you feel a different quality if you pull from your inner thigh? So can I pull from this inner thigh to get over here and pull from this inner thigh, almost like you're pulling up on your pants. So just noticing, does that feel different? Do you feel a little more tipped forward? Do you feel your knees caving in? What do you feel? Can you keep your knees doing what you want them to be doing? Let's switch again to pushing from our bum. So we're just noticing we use both of these sets of muscles, these adductors and the glutes in this kind of movement. And we're just noticing, seeing where we feel it the most. Good. So let's just shake out a little bit and we're gonna sway just side to side, shaking out a foot as you go. Good, we're gonna start to get some energy going, but we'll catch a little balance in here. So I'm going to step into my left foot, think about a really grounded heel, all of my toes on the ground. And then whether I kickstand or actually lift my leg, totally up to you. If you do lift, can you actually move that leg around a little bit to even further challenge your balance? And at some point, does it really feel like, whoa, I am gripping so hard. And then you come to the other side. So whether you're right here and you're just grounding through this foot, if you're lifting and putting down, if you're lifting and balancing, if you're moving that lifted leg just a little bit in different ways, however you want to move it, just noticing the challenges to your balance. Let's do that again on the other side. So you can just go right here. You don't have to do a complicated choreography. I'm just winging it, seeing if I can do different things to challenge my balance. And the other side. Good, let's do a little squatting. So we're gonna start to get this energy going. Remember, you're on a stick and we're not gonna hinge over. We're really trying to move our bum back. Our, our knees do go a little bit forward too. There's a little bit of both, but it's not all knees forward. That would be way too much quad. We wanna really work our glutes. Good, okay, let's get some hamstrings in there. So really pull with those hamstrings. Pull, pull, pull with those hamstrings. Feel the hamstrings. Really feel that you're not dumping into your low back. You're really pulling from the back of your leg. Can you feel that? 
good. And we're just giving 30 seconds of each item and approximately 30 seconds. I've got a little timer and now we're gonna squat again. Really nice squat, sending that bum back. Sending the bum back. And I'm not looking at the camera so that I can really model for you, keeping my neck nice and long in the back. We're almost there. And holding. Great, okay. Shake that out. We're gonna play a little bit. I'm gonna use the wall. You can do it in any way that you like, side wall or front wall. We are going to single leg hinge. So we're just coming down and coming back up again. And down and up. And you could use a chair for this as well. Just thinking about the role your abdominals play, your inner thigh here, your bum. And then down. And can you bring a leg up? And out and up. So now I'm pushing off the wall a little bit. It's really kind of fun. I don't want to arch and curl my low back. I'm trying to keep that pretty neutral so my back leg is not going up super high. Wow, that was fun. Okay, shake out your toes. Just let everything go. And we're going to come at it again doing the other side. So finding your right distance, first we just do our hinges. Single leg hinging. And then we get ready and come up. And <laughs> I didn't do as well on that one. And up. And I'm having a hard time here, so I'm just going to get a little closer. There we go. Sometimes that happens. I hope you notice that even when you have a hard time and there is some frustration, you just make an adjustment and get going again. It's the best way to deal with it. Okay, so from there, let's continue to bring those knees up. We're just going to tap that knee with the opposite hand. So I've got some breathing going on, that's good. Yeah, just a little bit of marching. Starting to use those hip flexors a little more. And then we're gonna come down to the ground. We won't stay there, but we're coming down. Okay, so coming down to the ground, we are going to get on our hands and knees and you can always pad your knees or you can have your hands on your couch and be standing on your feet and we are going to do bird dog. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the other way and I like sort of putting this in here because it is a marvelous back maintenance situation. And sometimes when you're moving around a lot, you can tweak your back. We're just reminding ourselves to take care of our back. And it's a good moment to recharge your breathing. Great, hopefully you're trying to stay nice and tall out of your hip and your arm. And I'm not being really exact here on my timing and notice my back leg. I'm not forcing myself to try to get it as high as my hip. I'm just allowing for whatever my body feels like today. Wonderful, wonderful, fantastic. 
and shake that out for a second. We are going to repeat kind of in a way what we did at the wall. We're going to fall into our hands and pop back up. So fall into your hands and pop back up. And you'll notice I'm kind of teeter-tottering off of my knees. You could come down and just sort of bend and come back up. Totally up to you. I like the idea of really zipping up in the middle using that rebound as a core exercise moment. Great, and that's all. We're coming on up. We are going to do half jacks. So here we go. Heart rate going. Even though we got down on the ground, we didn't lose that heart rate, so that's good. Good. And we are going to go back to hamstring curls right now. Hamstring curls are one of my favorites, as are half jacks. Yeah, just keep going. Good, good, good. Almost there. And we're going to half jack again. OK, here we are. If you want, you could amp this up. You could even jump from side to side. You could do this. or. Right here. Either way, you're reaching those arms. You're pumping that heart. So you're doing the work. Almost there. And we'll hamstring curl again. And ready. Good work. Yes, good work, good work. We are doing it. Almost there, and we are going to come down to the ground. Awesome. OK, down to the ground we go. Maybe you hold on to something, maybe you don't. Depends on how you feel. And we are going to lie on our back and do a little bridging. So the place we're going to start is we're going to bridge thinking about our right foot being the motivator of really pushing down. So yes, we're using both feet, but I really want you to think right foot, right glute. Just getting ready for the fact that we're going to do single leg in a second. OK, so if you're ready, we're going up. And then we're going to take one leg right here. And we're going to go out and in and out and in and three and four and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And then you're going to pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoo! I bet you felt that shake that right leg out. OK, so two legs, and we bridge for a moment, just thinking about the fact that it's the left leg that is the support leg here. So really make sure you've got your legs, feet, where you want them. And we're going up and then in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And coming back. Wow. Well, that was a really quick, nice little glute emphasis. And we can come right back up. And we can march. So we are marching and marching. Just getting ready for the next movement. And we're going to march with our knees going a little bit higher, starting now. And maybe thinking about just doing 
an uppercut or thinking about elbows to knees, although I don't want anybody doing a tuck of their tail and curling their spine. So it's a little different here. We're not gonna do that. I'm sort of coming across my body. And we are almost at our 30 seconds. It's amazing how quickly that goes. Let's just shake it out for a second. Shake those legs, shake your fingers, shake everything. And then let's just take a little walk around. So take a walk, give yourself a nice little walk. Yep, the backwards walk and a forward walk and then start to notice. Notice your legs, notice your glutes, notice your breathing. Very good. We're gonna do a little repetition. We're gonna go knees up. And if you want, you can turn it into a skip or you can just knees up, march, whatever you want. We're getting near the end. So you could give it an all out effort. Just having some fun, hanging out. Hair in my face. <laughs> Good, and half jack. Half jack again. Yep, I thread those in there all the time. Love those half jacks. Got the hair out of my face, that helps. Good. Very good. And we are gonna walk again. So walking around, and I'm not marching in my walk, it's really a walk walk. And I'm just noticing. Notice, notice. Maybe even straighten that out for a second. Let your fingers fly now. I was sort of cupped, so I'm gonna let my fingers go. And I'm gonna give another half jack and hamstring curl, so half jack. So good. This is definitely a series that you could put replay. It would be a really good one to hit replay and do all over again. Almost there, and we're there, and we're gonna hamstring curl. Our last hamstring curl. Good. We're gonna have a little last of everything and even get in a little curtsy that we haven't done yet today. All right, are you ready to get in some curtsy? Here we go, curtsy, curtsy. Now, a lot of times I do this for my curtsy or I decided today I wanted to do little bicep curls. Totally up to you what you wanna do. Good, just keep working it. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Great, and just a little marching to finish it off. So 30 seconds of marching, we can certainly do that. This is not a high knee march. <sighs> Pretty easy. Yeah, really nice. Almost there. I hope you got your heart rate up. I know I did. And we're just gonna sway side to side. Let our arms go. Little toe tap, bringing it down. Slowing it down. Feel the warmth in your legs and your core. Yay. And maybe just a little baby sway here. Don't thrust your hips forward when you do this. Transferring weight, 
twisting our arms a little bit, just a little bit of chest movement, not a lot. And then going back to what we did before, beginning and ending. This is a really good time to push replay if you are going to do this series again. Otherwise, we're just checking in to see if we drive from our glutes, how does it feel now? They feel more awake. Do your inner thighs when you're doing it from your glutes feel nice and loose and not tight? I bet they feel a lot better. And then let's think about pulling from the inner thighs. If you really think pulling from the inner thighs, sometimes it quiets down your glutes a little bit. Mine feels stronger. I feel like I'm actually getting more contact with my inner thighs. Good. And just shaking that out. And noticing, just letting everything go. Long back of my neck. Lifting my toes and putting them back down again. And ready maybe for a cool down or hit replay and do it again.